What's going on everybody? Robinson DUP. As you can tell, it's dark outside and no, it's not nighttime. Uh, it's about a quarter to seven in the morning. Apologize for the crappy lighting, but um, I'm actually headed to Pure Focus right now. It's my last official work day of the year. I'm actually going to be working from home, but uh, I want to get my workout in before I have to log in at 9.30 and uh, do what I got to do. I would love to work out during my lunch break or something, but unfortunately I'm just not going to have time um, to get out to where I need to. And then at night, um, I just can't stand the crowd of doing with a bunch of guys hogging a bench for six hours while the three of them do a whole bunch of nothing. And I just, I'm not good like that. I'm used to, now I've gotten used to working out in the morning where most people aren't working out. So that uh, enables me to get around better. So today I'm going to do an upper body uh, workout. It's going to be an upper hypertrophy day. I told you that I'm going to try to get you as much workout footage as possible. Interesting gym story the other day. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I try to understand certain things, but I just can't wrap my, my brain around uh, stupidity at all. Um, the, the culture that is starting to occur in gyms is that they only want it to be like a fitness center. They don't want anybody in there who really lifts who's really interested in making any progress at all. They have no problem collecting your 20 bucks a month, um, but it, God forbid you actually work out or have gear and stuff that you use while you lift. Um, they start to enforce the rules and it only seems to apply to certain people, um, which makes no sense to me because the regulars should be pretty much allowed to do whatever they want to do as long as they're not destroying anything. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So I had the rules enforced on me uh, where I kind of laughed in the manager's face because I'm like, you've got to be kidding. Like, re-racking the weights is a rule. You don't enforce that. Um, as you said, my, my gym bag basically is a hazard uh, for people to trip on when it was where it was placed. If you tripped on it, you would have had to have been on my head to even get to it. So that wasn't even humanly possible. Meanwhile, they have mats on the floor. Um, which are staggered all over the place, which is more likely for people to trip because the idiot, the, the idiot uh, landlord, I guess, let them put the gym on the second floor. Now there's offices underneath the gym that are complaining about the noise. So they had to put the, the, the cheap ass owners decided, oh, uh, well, we don't really want to spend the, you know, the money to put proper flooring down, so we'll make like a temporary fix. So they put these horrible mats on the floor that are staggered all over the place that I see people trip over every day, but I guess that's okay. So um, I won't be going back to that gym. Um, they won't be receiving my $20 a month anymore because now the same type of uh, franchise is opening up in Manhattan right by my office. So I'm gonna move my 20 bucks to them uh, so that way they can be my home gym and those owners can go to hell. Um, I just can't, I, I don't understand, I, I really, really don't how certain rules are enforced and other rules are not. If you're gonna enforce the rules on my bag being on the floor, which is in the rules, then you need to re-rack the weights properly or ha yell at people when they don't re-rack the weights. And you shouldn't have mats, which are bigger tripping hazards than my damn bag. That's my rant, sorry. Anyway, going to Pure Focus, where people are actually allowed to lift and it's an actual gym, um, and I won't get in trouble for my gym bag being on the floor uh, because it, they don't care, because it's an actual gym where people actually accomplish things. So anyway, uh, enjoy the workout, guys. Talk to you later.
that's what you call hitting failure.